Hi there, welcome again to 100 tips uh, for uh, people who are thinking about uh, coming over to live in Spain. And tip number 56 is very simple and yet at the same time extremely morbid. And tip number 56 is inheritance. Yes. Um, when you're buying a property in Spain, think about whose name you are going to put it into. If you are coming here to retire, for example, uh, well, you might want to think about putting the property in your kid's name as well as your name, uh, because then it solves the problem of inheritance. On the other hand, um, if you live in, let's say, the Valencia region, for example, and this also is, I think it's the case in Catalonia and the Basque Country and various others, if you leave a house to your children and they are also resident in the same region there is no inheritance tax on property in Spain which is cool if you can make them like tax residents in your area um, so think about whose name you're going to be putting the property into so that you can possibly in the future avoid a huge inheritance tax bill because this is how it happens let's assume for example you have two children yeah? um, on the death of one partner if the partners own the house 50% each, yeah, the 50% of the partner who dies is divided like this. Half of it goes to the partner that survives, so they get 25%, and the other half is equally divided between the partner who survives and the two children, so they get 8.33% each. Very important that you understand inheritance tax, because when the property comes to be sold, you must make sure that every party who owns the property agrees to sell it and turns up at the notary. So that's the next one. Inheritance, tip 56 of our 100 tips about things you need to know when you're coming over to live in Spain.